Now let's talk more about this newest COVID variant that's spreading across the nation, Mu. Francesca Amaker joining us now to walk us through the new information surrounding this strain. Francesca, what do we know about Mu? Yeah, the World Health Organization has this variant on its list of variants of interest. And as we saw months ago, this is how the Delta variant started off before it was moved to the list of concern. So this early data shows that Mu seems to be the most transmissible among the known COVID strains. And it was first detected in Colombia, but has since made its way around the globe and into the U.S. right now. This variant has been detected in 49 different states. As far as how it could impact Georgia, experts say they're concerned due to the low vaccination rates. And the CDC says it's keeping a close eye on the Mu variant, but this strain is not an immediate threat to us, at least not at the moment. It only accounts for less than 0.1% of COVID cases. And keep in mind, the Delta variant is still very much dominant. Now, one of the best prevention measures against the variant is widespread testing. We're seeing more people get tested for the virus each week. And right now in Georgia, we're averaging about 72,000 per day, up 560% compared to three months ago. Meanwhile, we are still seeing an increase in infections all across the state. More than more than 5,100 confirmed cases were reported just yesterday. So we want you to head to 11alive.com for more information about not only COVID across Georgia, but vaccines and more variants coming out as well. We have all of the facts posted right there.